Judge has opened the door for a double murder suspect to be released from jail. Reporter Eric Waxler tonight with the decision and the pain it's causing for one local family. Juan and Sergio Gutron, two brothers, both shot dead while hanging out Thanksgiving morning in 2010 on this Ruskin porch. Their cousin, Frankie Cantu, says his aunt will never get over losing both her sons. I could see the sadness and, you know, the loneliness that she has in her eyes. That was her whole life. It, it, it devastated her. Now there is more pain with word the man arrested for killing the brothers could be going home. This week, a judge approved Michael Keatley's request to set bail. And while it's still a hefty $900,000, if he comes up with the money, he'll be out on house arrest. It's, it's ridiculous that the judge would even allow it. Investigators say Keatley was looking for revenge when he shot the brothers and four others who survived. He was after the person that shot and robbed him while he worked in his ice cream truck months earlier. As it turned out, the man Keatley wanted didn't even live at this home. The judge's order says the state's evidence has contradictions and discrepancies based largely on circumstantial evidence. I mean, they may have not found the weapon that killed him, but they found the casings and everything about it. At last check, Keatley is still in jail, and we just talked to his attorney. She tells us he is indigent and that bond amount is likely unattainable for him. In Ruskin, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.